A transgender woman says she is being discriminated against after using the women's locker room at Evergreen State College. The problem is she's still technically a male, and young high school girls from Olympia use the same locker room. Kyra 7's Deborah Horn is live with how the school district is trying to make both sides happy here. Deborah. Angela, we found out about this in an email from a mother angry that this is happening. But the person at the center of this controversy says she is being discriminated against. Forced to leave a facility she has a legal right to use. I looked at her and said, excuse me? And she said, you have to leave. I'll be right back. Colleen Francis says she was using the sauna and women's locker room inside the recreation center at Evergreen State College two Wednesdays ago. The same facilities used by two female high school swim teams from Olympia who practice in this pool. A woman told Francis to leave. She wouldn't identify herself. She, all she said was that there were a couple of girls that came upstairs to the pool and said that there's a man in the sauna. But Francis, who acknowledges she was born a man, says she has lived as a woman since 2009. Still, someone called campus police, and local parents got wind of it. They're uncomfortable with him being in there, her being in there, um, and they um, are a bit shocked by it. Christy Holterman's daughter was one of the swimmers. Holterman complained to Evergreen. College officials tell us they have been working with the Olympia School District, which leases space at the pool. But state law requires equal access to state facilities, regardless of sexual orientation. So local school officials tell us they came up with a temporary solution. There's a, a smaller private locker room next to the, the main locker room there at the pool, and they've been using that. But Francis says she believes the students need an education. This is not 1959 Alabama. We don't call the police for drinking from the wrong water fountain. But the mother we talked to says what is paramount to her is that her teenage daughter and her teammates have a safe, comfortable place to swim. We'll let you know when school officials find a permanent solution.